And in fact, it's the, 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 the premier reason for black people turning to this type of lifestyle is because of sexual abuse. So I just wanted to be careful and to understand that the way that his young boys would end up in this type of lifestyle, the most likely way, would if somebody sexually abused them. So if he can prevent that from happening, which all of us want to do for our children, then we will significantly curb the amount of homosexuality we have in our community. Um, just by way of a side note here, the majority of gay and lesbian people have oh, heterosexual good. parents that probably feel similar to the way Kendall feels. I, you know, I don't think it's something we control. But I, I, in closing, Dominique, uh -huh. Go ahead. I, I, I would definitely say, you know, it, it's, it's funny today, you know, the majority, and it's no question, the majority of pedophiles in today's society are homosexual. I mean, when you look I don't at, think so. there's there, but I don't, I, I don't have the st numbers in front of me. But I know there are most of the people they're busting on the internet yeah. are not gay. They're, they're, they're heterosexual. They're men yeah. stalking little girls. No, or, most definitely. I, you know, yes. You, when, 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 when you, when they just like the teen and pregnancy white. thing. Yeah. <laughs> you know, but at the same time, you know, and I'm not against anybody gay or anything like that. I wouldn't uh, discriminate in any. Yeah, some of my best friends way, are white. Before. That's exactly what he sounds like. Okay. Well. Um, <laughs> Point taken, Kendall. Uh, you, have you, day, sister. you too. You know what? So I know <laughs> that you know his son won't be coming out to his father if his son was was gay, because in one breath he says, you know, um, he doesn't want his son to gr his sons to grow up gay, but in the next breath, you know, um, but you know, I'm going to raise them not to say anything bad about homosexuals or to do anything bad to homosexuals. And what I was saying when he was talking was he sounds just like those people who always say things like, you know, some of my best friends are black or some of my best friends are white, and you know what we do. Have have way too many issues or a lot of issues that African Americans need to work on collectively including all of us both those on the heterosexual side and those who are gay and lesbian but you know what it's really hard to work on those issues if before we can get to the polls or before we can sit down and address these issues we're already being divided by those in our community on lines on what is or what is not moral let's well, go to pastor stewart can and I, can I she comment i want to make a um, real quick actually comment. no you made a comment too you were talking uh quite okay. a bit with kendall so i want to keep it moving let's go to pastor stewart and watts you have the floor in the front page with jazz mechanic and the irritated genie on the front page yes good morning and i sure would like to say that i appreciate uh all of jazz mechanics professionalism and 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 her her articles every every week that i read in the uh, various publications she's in but uh i i'm 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 inclined to agree with uh, Charles and the irritated genie. Let me tell you why. Oh, and, and just for for the sake of, you know, I'm a minister, but I'm not going to bring a lot of scripture. But the, the issue is, in popular society, they're beginning to admit. I saw an interview on The View with uh, Star oh, Jones. Oh, that bastion of intellectualism. <laughs> with Star Jones and, 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 and several other, uh, several other, uh, Ladies, I don't remember all their names, but they had a, a white homosexual male that was in a, a a rescue organization that had converted from homosexual tendencies to heterosexual, and he was talking about the overall promiscuity in the gay lifestyle. And he he, he said it, it it is he said that there was a it was a I guess the right word is. He was saying that it's a falsehood. It's a front that they're trying to say that most, especially in the males. He, he didn't say anything about the females because he didn't have that experience. And so he said that they're never faithful. He said that they're more promiscuous than heterosexuals that are promiscuous. And then on Oprah, uh, Plummer, uh, the Plummer guy. Uh, Jonathan Plummer. Yeah, Jonathan, I'm sorry, Terry McMillan. Oprah made a statement. I couldn't believe Oprah made this statement. Oprah said, of course that you didn't have sex because you're not a man. <laughs> she, she said he's not a man. And I started to laugh because in my experience, even as a minister, as a, as a street preacher, as a person who goes out and does evangelism, I have found out even my friends that are homosexual have come to me and said, I can't control this. In other words, uh, uh, all of us 
or, or, or boom with sexuality, but we're supposed to have some type of control over our libido. And when I think about uh, the other statements that people made about this cartoon... Need you to keep it short, Pastor keep, Stewart. Okay, but, well, uh, let me just... You're say saying that, that gay people don't have control over their libido? Is that the bottom line no, here? No, no, the, the, the bottom line is this. When TV shows that promote, like, like you said, the, uh, and the brother said it wrong, the, the uh, Hebrews produced the Torah and the Babylonians produced the Talmud. But in the Torah, and if you look at that, it shows us in the Torah that the whole ham, if, if, we, were to cur- if we were to curse of Canaan, which is not ham, it was, it was his grandson that saw his father in nakedness and did something. But if we were to curse, but they were all destroyed in Sodom in the first place, and a new black race was upon the earth. Uh, 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 at that at that time, anyway, and so Pastor I, Stewart, um, could you could you wrap for me, please? Yeah, yeah, okay. Well, here it is. So I have found out with my friends that are homosexual that they have to come to me and said, "I don't know what I can do because it, 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 it was natural for me at first, but it's unnatural now." And then they they said, "I can't control my my uh, my." Like I said, libido, and then they said, uh, and, and then I say, it, it really goes in with what with, with, with God said. Okay. Our homosexual relationship should be, I mean, a, a relationship that is sexual, period, should have some production involved in it. And if it doesn't, it's not following God's order. Okay, thank you. Quick comments, quick, quick, quick. You know, I don't know what to say to that other than he's wrong. And, you know... Uh, Gay and lesbian people um, tend to have the same, you know, sexual habits, I guess, frequency as heterosexual people. I don't think there's any proof to say that gays have sex more than heterosexuals or that gays cannot control their libido. So I, I think that's simply ludicrous. And as far as the point about, you know, homosexuality and God, you know, again, people always want to quote what they want to quote from the Bible and they do away with what they feel doesn't apply today or what they can't use or what they know themselves that they've broken laws, that they've broken like, you know, we shouldn't eat pork or don't curse your parents or you'll be, you know, um, struck dead. So, I mean, we just choose what we want to use selectively and we need to be very careful about that, especially when we talk about the Bible, because that's the same book that was used to justify our mistreatment as slaves. So we need to be very careful about what we choose to quote out of that book. Okay, I would say that what the gentleman is saying is absolutely correct, and this is the no. this is the the linchpin. If I can leave people with anything, there are millions of black people around the world struggling with emotional issues and 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 of sexuality because they've been sexually abused. Because we have not studied it to understand that sexual abuse of our children and even our brothers that go into prison and our, our young daughters, this sexual abuse leads to emotional and uh, uh, issues of sexuality that we have not properly addressed. And when we don't properly address them, our people go around with this pain and begin to turn to different types of lifestyles that are not productive for them. In many cases, get swept up into this white sex environment by promoting homosexuality. And then we have an even bigger problem where the victims then become many times perpetrators and promote the same thing that created the problem from them in the first place, which is sexual degeneracy, sexual European misconduct. Okay, uh, let me, I got to take a break right here, but let me just ask um, a dual question. Let me start with you, Irritated Jeannie. Sounds to me like you're promoting hate. It sounds to me like you're promoting people, given all of these different reasons, excuses, and theories, bottom line is why it's okay for me to hate or discriminate, or make less than um, gay and lesbian people who I would submit to you are part of the human family and it's not our place as other fellow humans or spiritual beings having a human experience to to downgrade them or judge them. Wouldn't that be God's job? And I, It seems like the bottom line out of all of the different theories is promoting hate. How do you respond to that? I respond to that by saying it's good to know that that's how you feel, but it has no basis in fact. What I'm doing is bringing the African community facts, things that people can go back to and that think divide about. us, that, that continue to divide us. No, 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 we're already divided. When a man doesn't know that he's not supposed to lay sexually with another man, show. when he doesn't know that he's not supposed to sexually abuse a child, when he doesn't, when they don't know that we're already divided. Of course, you're not supposed to, to sexually decide. abuse a child. That's not what we're talking about today. We That's are not talking our topic. about the same thing because they're one and the same. No, thing. they are not. <laughs> 
That's your disagreement, but I'm talking about facts. So, I'm talking about okay, the fact that so you're saying we're already divided, women, so just let's just so keep dividing us even more? They're not sexually abused, and they come out, they went in heterosexual, they get raped in prison, they come out participating in homosexuality. Why? Was it some kind of magical spray that went in here? No, sexual abuse. We're ignoring the catalyst for this behavior thereby so irritated genie you're, you're you're saying that you we're already divided so it doesn't matter if we become more divided by causing um more separation between gay and lesbian people and heterosexual people who are all part of the uh, world african community the african world community is made up of africans homosexuals or white sex offenders our brothers and sisters that participate in this misbehavior are making a decision not to be part of the African community. We, you want them to stop. So you're if you're stop, taking away their blackness. The community, but you can't be. Part I'm of not African black anymore. Okay, and um, and Jasmine, just quickly, Jasmine Mechanic, <laughs> yeah. I'm going to ask you. Uh, you know, the flip side of that coin. You know, why why um, why bring this forth? You know, as you said, many people have been gay for many years. They they you know why does it have to be public? Why is it everybody's business? I didn't make it public. About, well, no, 50, you, about the pastors you, made it public when they stood up uh, in support of of our now president and in support of um, amendments that were going to be amended to certain state constitutions uh, a couple of years ago. They made it public when they came out. I have a right to confront, you know, uh, anyone who is trying to tear me down. And what those black pastors did, at least for me, was they ignited something within me so that I could speak out and speak out against them. And I think that that's speaking truth to power. I mean, it, it, it's not because I'm trying to spread, you know, homosexuality. No, these people picked a fight. They said we're going after gays and lesbians. So I have a right to fight back. Right. And that's what I do. 537 in the morning at 6 o'clock, Cliff in the home team will be with us. And uh, right now you've got the front page. We'll have more of your phone calls, more with our guests, the irritated Jeannie and Jasmine Kanick. Straight ahead. You're listening to Front Page. Front Page. The other talk radio. KJLH. 5.42 in the morning. I'm Dominique DePrima. And we have as our guest this morning on the front page, Jasmine Kanick and the irritated genie. We are talking about gay and lesbian in the African-American community and in the African global community throughout history. And we're having a little... Uh, a little dialogue and dialectics here, working the gray matter. So many phone calls. Uh, Jasmine Kanick, of course, one of the founders of the National Black Justice Coalition, which is the first national bla black civil rights group, and the irritated genie who is a member of Positive Comedic Visions and the author of War on the Horizon, Black Resistance to the White Sex Assault. We're just going to keep it moving, if that's fine with you both, because we do have a lot of calls, and I want to try to get to everybody if we can. Cliff from Inglewood, you have the floor on the front page, Radio Free 102.3 KJLH. Hi, everybody. Um, Dominique, let me just, for the sake of time, let me race through my points and then hear your comments and your guests' response. Uh, would you prefer to be well or sick, healthy or ill? And I think most of us would prefer to be well and healthy, including your guests. Uh, I suggest, that segues into my suggestion, that same gender-loving behavior is as old as disease. Because since people have been in the world, we've had people born sick. If one of the main purposes, Jasmine, of uh, uh, sex is procreation, then pure. And keep this point in context, because I'm talking about pure same gender-loving behavior. If the purpose of, of sex is procreation, then same gender loving sex is anti human. If I go see a movie about slavery, does that make me a slaveholder, pro slavery, or prone to be so shitty? And then finally, uh, Dominique, uh, I think it was Jasmine or someone is as eloquent as she is, was on uh, the front page uh, a while ago, and they closed out by making this statement with which I agree. There are a lot of things worse than being homosexual. Thank you. All right, Cliff uh, from Inglewood, yeah. appreciate you. Um, responses. Uh, we'll let, let's let the irritated genie go first this time. 
Yeah, I, I want to say that uh, I have a real problem with brothers and sisters, and it's not it's not an attack on the brothers and sisters, but, you know, in loving black people, there's something that we're going to have to do, and it's very difficult for us to do sometimes. We can't be on both sides of the issue. People call up, and we state we know that it's wrong. It's against God. It's unnatural. Then at the same time, we want to support the behavior. No. I, I don't agree with